Hey you, I'm a red hat ghost. I'm gonna bring all of you to some adventure. Where to? You might ask. I was thinking about Jaipur in India. You might ask what's good in Jaipur. I was thinking about the places with a lot of ghosts. <laughs> Welcome back again to Cray Blood Presents Submit Editions. And today, Cray Blood Presents is going to offer you a walk around in Jaipur haunted places. A lot of introductions about Jaipur. Jaipur is the capital and the largest cities of Rajasthan. It's famous for its majestic forts and palaces. The city is also known as Pink City because of its building made of pink sandstone. Lower Maha is one of the pink landmark that is listed as the two go destinations by tourists around the world. But did you know what Jaipur is also famous the for? Famous haunted place revolving around the city. How do I know? Because of my sick desire to know every haunted place around the world. Not going to go there, knowing them is adequate for me. But that's the theory of why Jaipur being one of the most haunted places in India. Jaipur is a very old city, previously it was named Jaipur, and was established in the 17th century. When you have a city, when you have a building that old, definitely, there's a ghost in there. It's because Jaipur located in the middle of desert. It looks eerie and smoking all year round, especially during the night. And the third reason, which also one of the main reasons, is because of there's one city or one village in Jaipur called Jakapura. It was also built in 17th century. The king of Jaipur was a cruel, greedy ruler. He forced the villager to work and pace as little as breadcrumbs. Um, eventually causing many of them to die in sta uh, salva starvation. There's a group of witches or alchemists living in Jakapura. They are enraged with the king's act and they curse the king. Either coincidental or the curse work, the king really died after that. Ever since then, Jakapura has always rumored with spirits since around the area. And without further ado, we're going to explore the first ghost story the ghostly village in Jakapura. Tired and hungry after a long day of work, a man trudged home, barely paying attention to the dark, deserted streets. Suddenly, he heard faint echoes of screams and cries from afar. He glanced around, but there was no one in sight. He thought to himself this must be an imagination. Continuing his journey, the man played Candy Crush on his phone as there's not much going on on the street. As he lifted his head from the screen, his heart skipped a bit. At the end of the dimly lit street, there was a shadowy figure, a woman in a long white skirt with flowing black hair. Frozen with fear, he watched as the woman turned her gaze towards him. Her eyes glowing and omni ominous braid, and her face twisted into a sinister expression as branded towards him. Without a second thought, the man instinct kicked in and he bolted in the opposite directions. His body struggled to keep up with his frantic pace, stumbling and tripling along the way. He pushed himself to the limits, never daring to look back until he reached the safety of a nearby convenience store. He glanced back. To his bewilderment, the street lay empty, leaving him to question the reality of what he had just experienced. This is a story inspired by experience of people sharing what they have encountered. People say that the shadowy figure is the spirit of the powerful witch that used to curse and sacrifice the villagers around the old mansions, old abandoned mansions in Jakapura. Not only that, over the year, the mansion also linked to many strange deaths and spooking, spooky happening. A lot of people staying around there trying to steer clear with this abandoned old building, especially during nightfall. Until now, nobody able to solve the mystery and it remains as creepy as, as it is. We have focused too much on Jakapura. Let's steer the view to other places in Jaipur. The next places we are going to explore is Banga Fort. 
Enjoyable is not exactly enjoyable. It's a close distance around three and a half hour drive near Awa Street. Many tourists will plan their trip to Banga Fort when they travel to Jaipur. And you can visit Banga Fort as well. Legend has it that the fort was cursed by a priest who was a practitioner of black magic who fell in love with the beautiful Banga princess with many suitors. One day, the priest followed the princess to the marketplace and offered her a love potion. However, she refused it, throwing it onto a large rock that consequently rolled onto the priest and crushed him to death. Before he died, the priest cursed the entire village, condemning it to destructions and desolations. Manga Fort has its name of being the spookiest fort in Asia. Many eerie encounters have been reported by visitors who dare to enter the fort after sunset. It is said that the ghostly apparitions of the princess, known as the ghostly bride, wanders the premises, seeking eternal love. Locals and tourists have reported hearing whispers, feeling a sudden drop in temperatures, and experiencing an unshakable sense of dread. There are even some saying that those who try their luck going at night either went missing or weren't able to talk coherently. The authorities have even placed restrictions on entry to the fort after sundown, fearing the paranormal repercussions. Now you have to know the two scary places in Jaipur, India. Do you still dare to go? Anyway, whether you believe in ghosts or not, uh, when it comes to paranormals, always be respectful. And don't purposely be offensive or um, disturb them. And that's it for the haunted places in Jaipur. Thank you for watching. And guys, if you love this yeah. channel, if you love this topic, please hit the subscribe button down below. Subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give me a like. You know what I'm going to say. I'm going to see you again next week. Bye.